disintegrated. It doesn't normally happen. I don't know why that's happened. But. Yeah, internet kind of just trolled there for a bit, so. We kind of missed that entire game. Interesting setups here. It's, oh, a spiral of dead pieces, and this is not looking great for Toby. He's in a drought. Oh, and that Zed didn't burn. Oh, he's going to hang the JPs and tops out at 436. And oh, and he misses the L piece. And this could be troublesome now. Can he get the long bar over? Can't get the long bar over. 40 pieces. And both players are going to experience this. So let's see if both players can survive this. Oh, no. It, this looks like it's going to be it. Oh, what? Toby takes the game by 2,000 points. But this could be it. Oh, and it's going to be it for Toby. 397 as Costa takes this in a decider. Counted down. Portal looking to stay in the division. Doge looking for that top spot in three, two, one. Petrus. Portal quickly downing his Pepsi real quick before we start. Uh, yeah. uh, he's seen about six, seven pieces now. It's kind of cheating. No, I'm joking. It's fine. All right. Now that we've started, it's time for me to let you know that we have a Macharino. Um, if you head to the link in the chat that I'm going to put there right now. There is, in fact, a Division 1 prize pool, which currently sits at $223.95. And historically, I've been pretty bad at uh, getting people to click on it. So I want people to click on it. <laughs> so please do that and support these players in any way you can. Because uh, the amount of time that the players have put in to achieve the skill level that they have, it deserves some reward and... Uh, you can help them out by going to the Matrina link and uh, giving them some financial assistance. Portal would like some peace assistance right now. Gets that JP to fill in that dependency and gets a Tetris. 96,000 for Portal, 119 for Doge. So yeah, it's basically at the same. Uh, Tetris rate, iron count, piece, even though Portal started about 10 pieces later. Obviously he's done some uh, kind of catch up. But Doge, pushing down so the Portal can't memorise the sequence of 10 pieces. Uh, Portal, was, he hasn't even played poorly this season. He's just found himself on the wrong end of many many deciders uh most recently yesterday against noah played a stellar game but oh my streams died my stream died i don't know my internet like bugging again It says I'm live for 13 minutes. It looks okay. Me. Okay, Captain giving me a scare there, but it looks like we're alright. Anakomi says it's fine. Hopefully we're okay. I would like to have a stream that isn't a complete disaster um, for once, although that is pretty rare for me. Tetris for Doge, 418. Yeah, maybe Twitch is just bugging. I don't really know what's going on. Twitch really doesn't like European friendly streams, so everything goes wrong during Euro times, obviously. Alright, Tetris for both players, 343 for Portal, 
441 for Doge. And welcome in, guys. Thank you for coming to chat to tell me that the stream is totally working fine. Chat is always a blessing in, in that scenario. I imagine if you were just streaming and it was all broken and no one was there to tell you. That would be very sad. Portal's stack is looking a bit messy right now. Set up for a, an S spin. Apparently Twitch is just bugging right now. Yeah, my uh, stats doc on Twitch is bugging out right now. It t it's telling me I have zero followers on the CTR channel, which is probably wrong. Um, Portal set up for looking for a blue piece. There is the blue piece and gets the spin, gets the Tetris. Dirty Tetris. Oh, and Doge going for a pretty high tuck setup and goes to the T spin burn. Uh, kind of interesting there because it does leave a gap. And I have to take a few burns to sort that out, but is on a very solid pace. I've completely ignored it because I've been messing around with the stream and I'm praying that it works. But yeah, Doge, a very solid game right here. 565. So definitely on pace for 600k. Only one Tetris needed for a 600k. Portal was. Around 100,000 points behind at 492, still sitting up on row 3. Oh, and the Doge doesn't burn with the J piece. Gets the Tetris. And nice square for that middle. And it's going to get another Tetris into 19 at 636. Portal at 540. So, as we saw yesterday, Portal 100,000 points down at the transition. But this does not mean he's out of it. He can definitely make up the points deficit in the post transition and the post post transition but we will have a level 39 supergirl screen so has to score the points before then doge lots of long bars there but hasn't been able to score with one there's a long bar to score tetris for doge 735 at level 20. oh nice uh, rotation of the dead beast for portal gets the tetris 621 oh and a Bunch of long bars, completely unusable for Portal there. And they're not able to capitalize on those bars, but Doge is, is he now up to 815 into level 20, but a misdrop of that L piece and then a panic placement of that T piece on the right hand side. But could uh, go for a dirty Tetris, but just takes the triple. And Twitch has died. Oh, I'm going to continue as if nothing's happened, though. Bear with. Hopefully everything's fine. Portal set up for a very high long bar dependency. Gets the long bar to fill in. And Portal needs something to the left side. Filling out that left. And it's going to get a Tetris there, 725 into 24. Gets another one to get to 755, but Doge is at 919 on level 24. And it's just on pace for a level 25 max out right now. Looking pretty dire for Portal. It's so far behind at the moment. 200,000 points almost. Tetris there for Doge, a max out at level 25. Very efficient game, 81% Tetris rate. Doge. Doge with another Tetris there to go to 1,044,000. Portal up super high. He's going to take a few burns. Oh, and Portal needs a J piece for the left. Gets that triple. And gets a Tetris. 893. And another Tetris to go to 926 into level 27. Doge experiencing a 30 piece drought here. Keeps the well open, takes a skim, gets a Tetris, 1,083,000. The next Tetris, 1.116 into level 27 for Doge. So 150,000 points still in the lead for Doge. And another Tetris for Doge, 1.15. And there's finally the max out for Portal. So he's going to have to play some very, very good kill screen. If he's going to want to take game number one here off of Doge. It's Doge's game to lose here. 1.2 already. And Portal not with the cleanest of boards going into 29. Gets the long bar down there though. He needs to fill out that left side. Love a J piece. He takes a nice double there. Doge 1.26 into level 29. 
Auto's gonna have to go for a while. Let's set up. Okay, get some nice triple on that left side. Doge doesn't really have to go too crazy here, but probably will do because that's the way the game should be played. And set up for a Tetris. Takes a few skims. Both players set up for Tetris. Doge lands a Tetris. 1.3. Tetris for Portal. 1.179. And Doge set up for another one. So clean. So good. Gets a Tetris there. 1.36. And he's just able to consistently be ready for Tetrises. And a perfect S flat on the right side. Portal getting up high. Needs a long one. Gets the long one for the Tetris. But hangs the L piece on the left. And that's going to do Portal in. 1.24. And Doge with the 1.4. It's going to take game number one. And a Tetris for Doge again. Let's see what he can do here. This is pretty insane from Doge. Practically perfect game from Doge. I don't even know if anyone can see this right now. Looking for a rollover, maybe? And Doge. Doesn't look like he'll get the rollover at this point. Five. I'm not going to count from five. Three, two, one. Tetris. There you go. A square and an S. We're on the same piece. No controversy this time. Everything's fine. Everything's same piece. That's. And uh, Portal stacking up very interestingly in the center of the board. Okay, doesn't go for the J dependency, instead burns the J, because that J dependency is pretty high up. And I'm going to take some burns now. Oh, and sets up the T-Tuck and gets the J as well for the left side. And L set up for the L dependency. And the L piece. That was incoming, and Porto up high now. It gets that double over with that long bar. Or the Doge going to score a Tetris. Porto going to score his first Tetris of the game. So, a bit of a rough start. And Doge is going to continue experiencing a rough start. Because he's going to take four burns here. Now it's sorted out this stack, and he's going to get a Tetris. With a 100,000 portal looking for a long bar. There it is. Tetris for portal, 104,000. Tetris for Doge, 124. Oh, and portal. Okay, good. Long bar flat there. Takes a double. Doge gets a Tetris. And Portal gets a Tetris. Then 154 to 171. So both players have uh, fixed their issues. After that rough opening, like 20 lines or so. Now, everything looks. Pretty good. Marlene says if Doge sweeps this, I think he's winning the division. Well, you know, from what Somalian has been saying recently, you can't really trust anything Somalian says. He normally seems to get everything wrong. Uh, but, you know, I can't verify that statement from Somalian. Portal having to take a few burns up high. That long one can't be used. And neither can that long bar. Doge can use the long bar though and scores a Tetris. Double for Portal. And trying to keep the well open. And Portal a bit spicy there but gets the Tetris. And a nice Z skim.
And finally, some sort of normality for Portal as he bring this all the, brings this all the way down. Oh, and that is a very interesting gay placement there for Portal. Tucks in the long bar. But, you know, still some holes. The Doge just continuing to score Tetris after Tetris and has brought this pace back. 400,000 now through 85 lines. And a Portal's board is all sorts messed up. It's going to get a Tetris on the right side, but now not going to be able to score any Tetrises because that's a very interesting formation on the on the bottom right hand side there my steam just opened randomly that's weird okay also now set up for a dirty tetris has a shadow j piece there at the bottom gonna get that dirty tetris and gets another one 105 lines 383 for portal 94 lines 411 for doge so doge with will be a level in lines uh, in hand. And he's also ahead in pace. And score. Oh, and Portal hangs the J-piece on the left side. Is going to need to get something over there. And didn't go for the L, but this time will go for the L-piece. And it gets the 5-tap off the long bar. Marlene is doing the maths. With an S. Trying to figure out what he needs and what Doge needs to win Division 1B. Okay, Doge stacking pieces so high on the left. And it's going to get the long bar for the Tetris. So it's like 508. So looking at another potential 600k, 600k transition here from Doge. Portal going to transition at 448. Doge at 530. Three Tetris is available. There's one of them. There's two. The next Tetris will... Oh, um, Portal is so high right now. He's gonna need to, oh and opens up the well and gets another long bar for the Tetris. And takes a skim and gets another center well Tetris. That was so dangerous. Doge at 625. I didn't even catch if he transitioned with 600k. I don't think he did. But has the 600k now. 626 in fact. And has a hundred thousand point lead over Portal. Well 97,000 points. Pretty much a hundred thousand. Oh and Portal gets back to back long bars again to fill in. Uh, the middle and gets a Tetris there. 579 for Portal. 676 for Doge. And look at that roof skim from Doge and gets a Tetris to get a 703. Another very solid paced game here from Doge. Looking to win Division 1. Be in style. Kind of rip away the first place from Somalian. So probably quaking in his boots watching this match right now. Tetris for Doge. 756. Portal in the middle of a out but gets the long bar for the Tetris 666. Oh and sets up a long bar dependency but gets the long bar bail. They get him out of that without too many problems and Doge taking a few burns here. Slow down just a little bit and would like a long bar here and isn't going to get it so now Doge is in a bit of a slowdown so this is Portal's opportunity but hangs the TP's on the left but gets a Tetris and another Tetris there for Portal. Doge having to bring this down, but is actually set up for a perfect well transfer with a dirty Tetris and gets it. 8.28 now for Doge on level 23. Going to enter 24 in the, with the next burnt line and is going to do it with a Tetris. 8.58 and another one for Doge. 8.88 on level 24. Doge means business here. Portal getting square pieces all the way to the left and he's getting up pretty high. Oh, and Somehow gets the long bar perfectly in time to open up the dependency and gets the Tetris and another Tetris for Portal 838. Doge of the Tetris 951. Oh, and Portal can't get the J piece to the left side and gets the long bar over though. Can Portal survive this? That's going to be surely deadly. Gets a square over, gets a J, but doesn't get it over. And D Portal going to top out. At 8.36, Doge not going to get the max out there. The top out at 9.89. We go two games up. GG. All right, we've already from both players. Let's get this game counted down. Portal's going to need a reverse sweep here to try and take down Doge. Which would involve Portal playing in a decider. So let's get in the game of three. Counted down in 3 two, one Tetris. S, J, T, Z. There we go. Same piece sets. It's fine. 
never gonna miss it ever again. Yeah, so Porto on the ropes now. Staring relegation playoff in the staring the relegation playoff uh, place in the face. Ow, and this is not how you want to go out. Portal already so messed up. Gets T over and an L for the triple. Doge not in a good situation either. But both players definitely with the ability to bring their boards down and that's exactly what is going to happen. But Doge looking for that L piece, it never showed up. Goes for that burn, leaves the well open. But covers it as the bar comes. Oh and goes S to the left. Needs something J or a long bar, gets a long bar over to the left side. Doge is looking like he's going to be able to survive this and he's going to get the long bar for the Tetris. He's probably uh, breathing a sigh of relief there. And Portal hasn't really taken that big of an advantage. About three Tetris is ahead as Doge continues to burn and does have that three high gap in the center of the stack. But did go for a dirty Tetris here and he's going to get it. Dirty Tetris for Doge, 70,000. So a very rough start. Here for Doge. The portal hasn't been perfect either, so the lead isn't a hundred thousand points just yet, but could very well be. Portal just knocks down like another Tetris. The Doge is still not out of this. Get a triple there. And has now opened up a center well Tetris there for Doge for Portal, sorry. And now Doge in a bit of trouble again here. There's long bar for triple on the left side. Set up for a center while Tetris. Oh my god, and Portal has a long bar dependency on the left side, but he's able to fill it in. Yeah, Portal gonna get a Tetris there to go to 231. And now it's over 100,000 points. The separation between the two players. Doge set up for a Tetris in column 3. Row 3 gets it. A long bar spin was impossible in that situation for Doge, but he probably knew that. Uh, you'd expect the players at this level to know all the nifty tricks that you can pull off in NES Tetris. Especially if you've been playing the game for as long as Doge has. Portal going to misdrop that Z piece. I have to work around that. Let's see how he does it. Could he be setting up for Dirty Tetris? Oh my god, he's going to set up for it. Is he going to get the long bar? Is this going to pay off? For Portal it is. He's going to get that dirty Tetris. I would love a T-piece right about now. And he's going to get the T-piece. The burnout's a clean double. And a, Oh, it doesn't go for the square double there. And he's set up for another dirty Tetris. Oh, goes for the J-tuck. And gets another dirty Tetris for Portal. He's happy with that one. Doge dunk the fills in the dependency on the left. Instead of going for the Tetris, but got back to that long bar anyway. Got the Tetris there. So he's going to get another Tetris with the 221. So he's about 300k behind where he was at this stage last game. In the last two games, in fact. Not the pace he's looking for. Portal, meanwhile, playing a very solid game this time around. 400,000 through 99 lines. And uh, could be potentially looking at a high 500k transition himself. Don't want these measly 400k transitions at this level. Ideally, you'd want uh, 580 plus, probably. But Doge is looking just to even survive this. We'll need an LP. Oh! This is not looking great for Doge. He's been suffering all game so far. He's gonna bring this down though. Long bar dependency filled in. Kingsman has finally arrived. Thank you for saving the stream. Been going horribly wrong, really, to be honest. Tetris from Portal 516. Probably 580 on the cards for Portal. Tetris for Portal. 
539, two J dependencies, gets one J, gets two J's, and now this E tuck or Z spin setup gets a Tetris. Oh, it misses the Z spin one line away from transition, which is not really what you want to be doing. And setting up a long one dependency up this high is not really what you want to be doing because Portal is probably going to transition very dangerously, and that's exactly what has happened. And, and yeah, Portal's done a 566. That's going to be it. That was so, so aggressive from Portal. Probably not best choice at the 19 transition when you're one line away from it. And Doge needs 567. Just needs to chase this down. And uh, is more than capable of doing so. This is a level 19 speed chase down. No 29 will be required. Just uh, maybe three Tetrises and some mines. One Tetris. And there's two Tetrises. Okay, maybe we'd need two more to get this over and done with. Yeah. I guess he needs. Yeah, one Tetris and like a single. Unless he gets a Tetris uh, after 34, which, 24, which he did not at yet. Yeah, one more line will do it. And there it is. Doge is going to complete the sweep over Portal. That's going to be it for game for match number one of today's stream. We are going to have Portal taking on Hydrant. Coming up very shortly. So GG's, guys. Let's start. Match number two, Portal vs Hydrant, game number one, in, wait for it, 3-2-1, Tetris. Hydrant making sure he is tabbed into Max Out Club, starting, which I appreciate. We're underway. Portal already with a few <laughs> interesting dependencies set up. Like an L piece. Now with like a long bar. I was just gonna go for a dirty Tetris. Is he gonna get it? Not even gonna take a triple. And obviously the bar comes as he comes as well, gets a Tetris. I mean, if if Portal sweeps this game, I don't know if it will be enough. Just because he's so far behind Hydrant and the points already. This could have been the relegation deciding match. But with that loss, the... Uh, Actually, it's six points separating the two players. So if Portal sweeps, I think that's seven points. And Hydrant will get none, if I'm correct. If I know how the system works. But Portal is up very high right now. Gets the L piece over to the left. I set up so dirty here. Oh, and so is Hydrant though, and both players in trouble. Portal gonna get a dirty central attention, and another one, and Hydrant is in trouble. And it looks like Hydrant's gonna top out at 186, so Portal in a small chase down. Need 187. And there's a Tetris for Portal, and we'll just need one more. And Portal has won a game, can you believe it, in 3-2-1 Tetris. That all kind of happened while I was trying to look at the standings, and then both players almost topped out. 
You gotta be looking at the game every second in case a player just decides to top out. Captain says, I think he might get more points if he's... How many points do you get for this? Is this six? Or seven? I think it's seven, right? You get three for the three games that you win and then... An extra point for, for winning. Oh, Portal looking for something. Okay, gets the double tuck and almost hung that LP. Okay, so I guess Portal would need a sweep here. Tetris or Portal. Oh, hangs the JP. Oh, I tried to go for the double bits. But that didn't really work out. And if he tops out, this will surely seal Portal's fate in the relegation playoff. Give him a little bit of hope and reason to keep playing here. Dirty Tetris for Portal. Tetris for Hydrant. Separated by a single. Portal just gonna set up for a Tetris. It gets that column 2 Tetris, that's pretty dangerous. Stacking. I feel like Portal stacking as if he's already been uh, relegated, but no, that I'm pretty sure there is still a chance that he can survive. I'm not sure if he's aware of that yet. Because it's kind of difficult to, to calculate all of the, the outcomes mentally. Tetris and Portal 201. Hello, Alan Bot. ETN Alan Bot. Singaporean champion. Hope you're doing good today. Tetris for Portal 226. Tetris for Hydrant 242. So we're actually going pretty back and forth here. Yuri says there's no outcome where Portal isn't in relegation playoff right now. I'm gonna, I'm trying to kind of figure it out. Um, hang on. It's a six point deficit, so if you can overcome that in one sweep, then there is a chance, I guess. 319 for Portal, Hydrant 311, Tetris for Portal 342, Tetris for Hydrant 334. Alan Bot, I, I never learnt to read. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Op of the Z piece on the left for Portal. Uh, no, curious, done by points first, not matches one. Yeah, I never learned to read English as well. I can't read any language. Yep. Tetris for a hydrant. No, but seriously, I can read like some characters, but not most. I can't read most characters. Because I'm uh, barely, barely Chinese. <laughs> Tetris for Portal 483. Tetris for Hydrant 456. And another Tetris for Hydrant 479. So separated by only 5,000 points. Key tuck there for Portal is now set up with that square and gets the Tetris 507. Yeah, so uh, sources have confirmed that Portal needs a sweep to take. To survive the relegation playoff place and send Hydrant down. So this match is pretty crucial for both players. Hydrant literally needs just one game. But Porter is getting up very, very high. He can't afford to top out here. And there's a Tetris into transition for Portal at 558. Hydrant at 551. 
Still two Tetrises available. I'm hoping the information has been relayed to Portal. Nice square double there. Tetris down the right hand side for Portal 6 and 11 and another one to go to 6 36. A Tetris for both players. Hydrant enter transition to 576. Now 601 with another Tetris and another Tetris for Hydrant 626. 60,000 points in the lead is Portal at the moment. Take a skim to get Tetris ready. And that left side a little bit low. Tetris for Hydrant 654. Oh, and a little bit of a drought. There's a Tetris for Portal and another one. 746 for Portal. Hydrant. About well, two and a half Tetris is behind at this stage. But Portal is just scoring Tetris after Tetris. Playing like a man that has renewed hope that he can survive Div 1. That adjustment at the last moment was kind of crazy there. Portal taking a few skims. Okay, we'd like a square or some an LJ now. Tetris there for Hydrant. 739. Tetris reports to 837 into 24. A Hydrant. Oh, doesn't get the rotation in time of that S piece. He's going to have to slow down now and take some burn. Can Hydrant get that T in there? No, he can't. He's going to early tuck it. Very early, and it's going to cause many, many holes in the stack for Hydrant, which he's going to have to clean up. And the portal is now at 901 on 25. I'd love a J piece. Oh, I Portal opens up the center while gets the Tetris, goes with the key tuck, and doesn't fill in the long bar dependency, instead going to convert it into a Tetris well. And can Portal get the long bar he so desires and gets the Tetris? He's going to bring it down, and maybe he'll uh, finally go back to a normal column 10 well. And Hydrant, oh, kind of a mist drop of that S piece. And Hydrant, like a long bar to clean out a double there. Gonna get that long bar. But now it's 200,000 points behind Portal. As Portal's experience in a few mist drops is able to get Tetris ready though with that L tuck on covers as well as the long bar shows up. Hydrant takes a dirty triple Tetris to Portal. 1,056,000, but it's two levels ahead. As a uh, captain very kindly calculated for me. Right, Portal enters level 29. 1,068,000. Needs something for the right hand side. Gets the long bar over for a split double. And another double for Portal. Needs to bring. Oh, hangs the long bar on the left. But we've seen him get pieces over that. Can he clear that 7 high left? Okay, gets a J over. Oh, and Hydrant misses with that L piece on the left. We'll need a very big chase down here, but Portal's still alive. And is oh my god, I thought he was going to set up for a Tetris. Gets a triple down the left-hand side for Portal. Gets an S to the left as well. And Hydrant's still on 28 as Portal's on level 32. There is a level 39 line cap, so we'll see what happens. Hydrant gets a Tetris, 914. So had, did lose a lot of pace there. Oh, and Portal going for the Tetris. Gets the Tetris. 1.15 and set up for another one. And has opened up the well, but the game is not giving him a long bar. Gets the L for the double on the right. Oh, and Hydrant hangs the long bar on the left, but is still ready for a Tetris. Is he going to get the bar, though? The double and the left well Tetris for Hydrant. 973 He's going to bring this down. Portal gets a long bar over to the left and ready for a Tetris. Hydrant's going to top out at 976. And Portal with the 1.265. He's good for game number two. He's one game away from staying alive in Division 1. GG. Slarty best fart and the best aim in, in, in Twitch. Playing both so talented. 3 to 1 Tetris. And Yepper is here. Welcome in. Yuri, what's up, by the way? I don't think I said hello to you. I could potentially play Curie or Blue Scooty in the playoff. 
both uh, formidable rollers themselves, so you know, it won't be an easy feat to stay in Div 1. Like most of the time, I think the idea is you can't automatically get relegated from Div 1. So if you have to go and play someone in Div 2, the idea is, ah, oh, you'll beat the person that's in Div 2, so it's free. You can never get relegated from Div 1. But in actual fact, you'll be playing a very, very good player in Div 2. And there is the possibility that you'll go down, and that's what happened to Sidnev and why Noah's in Div 1. And I believe At Costa also won playoff. No, not At Costa. Someone else won a playoff to, to make it into Div 1. It wasn't Costa though. I feel like it was. Uh, I, I feel like it was someone, but I can't think at the top of my head right now who it was. Maybe it was Somalian. It wasn't Somalian. He's always been in Div 1. I don't know how he's been in Div 1 this entire time. Oh, I thought there was someone else. Is it just Noah? Oh, then in that case. No, Noah is doing pretty well in Div 1 as well. So clearly, some of the Div 2 players can hang about with the best in Div 1. Tetris for Portal. 205, 167 for Hydrant. I looked away for a second. So I don't even know if Portal got a Tetris, but I just assumed that he did. Kiri's saying if he's got to play Portal, it's wraps. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it'll be a pretty good game to be honest. I mean, Kiri gets either 50k or 1.2, so. <laughs> you know, consistency. Peak lost to Jerpy in the other player. Oh, right. Oh, wasn't that like. Was it 4 1? No, it was closer than that, wasn't it? I feel like it was like... Four, two. Oh, Hydrant! Double flips that long bar. Was able to burn this out though. I can't remember, one season ago is too long. Alright, double there for Hydrant, and he's gonna get, open up the well and get a Tetris. 264 for Hydrant. And remember, this is a must-win game for both players. It, it doesn't matter about the match result anymore. It's just this game. All the games after this game will not matter. It's just this game that both players really need to uh, win. To stay alive. So, you know. Might want to focus up, guys. Which I assume you already are. So, Portal going to reopen the right side. No place that's square, so throws it on the right. Oh, and Portal would love a J piece. And still would love a J piece. Now needs a long bar. Oh, and Portal does not want to go down like this. Okay, a long bar there. Oh my god, Portal playing with fire and a square. A horrible times square. Oh, what's an adjustment there of the L piece? And L to the left, T to the left, opens up the well and gets the Tetris. 388 and is still alive. Hydrant gets a Tetris as well to so go 409. Also, it's actually uh, has a 2000 point lead. Uh, Tetris for both players there. Very, very scary there for Portal. But he survives. And despite Portal not actually having won a game all season, this is the only game he needs to win. Or won a match all season. He finds himself in this must-win situation to survive. He's doing just that as he gets a Tetris with a 460. Oh, and decides to go with the key tuck instead of filling out the left. But gets another J for that anyway. Hydrant filling in that long bar dependency. Tetris there for Hydrant, 5.07. Portal stacking up high, takes a square double. Oh, look at that T double there for Portal as well. Filling in a square hole with the square. Tetris, Portal, 5.10 to 5.09. So it's a very tight game number three, which is exactly what you want to be seeing. Oh, and no, and Hydrant getting droughted. But gonna get the long bar. 
And the horse has transitioned at 560. And Hijin gonna transition at 563. So here we go, post transition to decide who goes down and who stays up. Tetris for Portal. 611. And another one to go to 637 as Hygen is set up as well. Gets a Tetris 614. But like a JP Hygen, it uses a long bar that works. Doesn't skim with a J, skims with the L instead and gets a Tetris there. Set up for another one. Portal lands a Tetris 690. Tetris for Hygen. Portal gonna be the first player to run into an issue in the post transition. A bunch of long bar dependencies. Oh, that L drop over the hole. Okay, that L double will work for Portal. And Hygen has taken a lead here. Oh, hangs a long bar on the left. And hangs another long bar on the left. And Portal's going to top out at 6.98. And Hydrant also hanging a long bar on the left. But at 7.46, survives and is going to stay in Division 1 for another season. GG. And Hydrun is actually... Maybe even going to get out of this. Oh! It makes it quite exciting, to be honest. Alright, we have two readies from both players. So, the totally meaningless game in a 3-2-1 Tetris. Still worth watching, though. And I'm pretty sure there was this one time a few seasons ago when Andy needed Dog to take one game off of Alex T. And Alex in ended up sweeping the match and going into the playoffs instead of Andy. You know, it's, it's weird uh, praying for uh, the outcome of a match that you're not even involved in to benefit you. It just makes you you know, support other players and watch the matches when it affects you. <laughs> Alright, Tetris or Hydrant. 68,000, 69,000 portal. And now the players can go for perfect level 18 transition. Oh, and Hydrant, um, looks like he's doing an early celebratory lap because he's doing a victory lap early because Hydrant is about to top out at 97,000 and Portal going to take the game and the set. So Portal, at least you'll get ELO, but you have been sent to the relegation playoff. So GG's. It did not end the way you would have wanted, but I you probably already thought you were relegated at the start of the match. But nonetheless, it is not enough. Also is gonna be facing either Curie or Blue Scooty from Division 2 to decide who either stays in Division 1 or goes to Division 1. So congratulations Hydrant on staying in Div 1 as well. And hopefully we'll see you around next season, because, you know, we want all the best players to be playing in Division 1, in Classic Tetris League. So that's going to be it from me. The two matches are over. And let's see if there's anyone around at the moment. Oh, there's a lot of stuff happening right now, actually. So, let's go and raid. Let's watch that uh, tech tournament. That sounds interesting. Oh, let's raid Adam Mountain. Uh, who's Adam Mountains? Let's raid the Burb Wizard, actually. We should raid the Burb Wizard. I am not Adam Mountains. Alright, thanks everybody for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next stream. Bye.